Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, hello again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. Glad to see you're, you again. And as you can tell, we, meaning Art and I, are with our favorite medical doctor, Dr. Liz Lister. Dr. Liz, great to see you again. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us. Yeah, great. Always to... a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, I had a question for you today. Uh, as you know, I practice Tai Chi several times a week. And I have actually two instructors who have two different approaches, which is what I really like, because uh, not all Tai Chi is, is the same, and it's not taught the same way. Uh, but one of them, uh, I'm particularly attracted to his class for a segment that he does about 15 minutes of each session, which is balance. Uh, and while Tai Chi has a lot of movement and uh, you need balance for it, he does uh, certain exercises that really like standing on one leg, leaning forward, standing on one leg back. And uh, I was uh, I was with my granddaughter. She was over at the house uh, the other day, and uh, she likes to join into the Tai Chi classes. And I'm struggling doing these things. And she's standing on one leg, not a problem. She could probably stand on no legs. I mean, I haven't figured it <laughs> out yet, but these kids have these inherent sense of balance. But it seems as seniors, we lose some of that. Uh, yeah. uh, can you... Uh, give us some sense of why that happens and things that normally we could do maybe to help improve uh, that. Absolutely. First of all, your observation's absolutely correct. Uh, really starting about after age 20, we start to lose muscle mass. And on average, people lose a pound of muscle mass every year from then on, depends. But unfortunately, it's replaced by fat. Okay, so we don't want that. And it's very, very important. I'm so glad you do those classes because what we want to do is we want to prevent falls. All right. Falling down is not a normal, natural, inevitable part of getting older. So we want to build balance and strength. Okay. So I know, uh, and I know you have an exercise expert and I thought that you could talk with her about some of those more specifics and give people actual ideas of what to do. What I wanted to share with you is how that helps and how it works in the body. How does that sound? Great. Oh, important, yeah, that's you. what it sounds like. Yes, yes, falls are a huge, huge problem in our country. There are an estimated 36 million falls per year among oh older adults. And that results in 32,000 deaths. Oh, due wow. to, yes, the complications of falling down. And that's out of about a half a million hospitalizations. So it's very, very important to our health. You know, yeah, come, to think imagine... of it, come to think of it, I, uh, from time to time, you hear about somebody's father or mother, but generally a father who falls in the shower. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and hits the head or breaks a hip or something like that. Uh, so uh, you, you really triggered uh, something that we hear all the time. Or somebody, there's a commercial, I've fallen and I can't get up. It's a real right. thing, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. That's right. It's a huge health issue for us as we get older, as time goes by, as I like to say. And there's several components to balance that we, I wanted to mention today. One is vision, one is the inner ear, the balance center of the brain, which, as I said, includes the inner ear, and also something called proprioception. And that refer it's a fancy lot of syllable word for being able to tell where your body is. So if you put your arm, if you put your left arm out to the side, your brain knows that your left arm is out to the side. That's, that's all that means. Okay, I like taking long terms and long words and just making them simple. So those are the components of balance. And there are a lot of exercises that work all of those at the same time. That's why it's important to keep our vision care up to date. Make sure we can see where we're going. This is a, a kind of intuitive, kind of makes sense. Also, the inner ear right, the part of the balance, that's the actual, it's called the vestibular system. And that's what can tell, like if you are going side to side, it's what will balance it out. 
And that way you know that you're going off to one side or the other as opposed to not realizing it and then falling down. So a lot of different brain components are involved in balance. So Dr. Liz, it sounds to me like um, an ear infection or anything that might affect your balance, your, your inner mm -hmm. ear would, could affect your balance. You could get dizzy. Exactly. And are there common reasons why older people might get dizzy? No, there are all kinds of different reasons. There aren't real uh, commonalities. I will say one could be if side effects from medications. That's yeah. important to watch out. And it's one of the reasons that I know that this audience is by definition educating themselves and avoiding what we call polypharmacy avoiding being on a whole list of medications. Sometimes they have interactions between them. That's very, very important. And that's why people need to have a list of all of their medications. That way, if they're having any kind of loss of balance or falling down, this is important to be aware of and sure. to be able to talk about with their doctor. Sure. Okay. Another concept that's out there a lot that I think we'll be hearing more about is a phrase that says functional movement functional movement. This is very popular among in the training community, the personal physical training community. So for example, you'll read about if your challenge is reaching high shelves or reaching low areas of your storage areas or kitchen and not hurt your back and not lose your balance while you're doing these kind of movements, the personal fitness trainers will do functional movements, actually have you hold weights and twist and reach as opposed to just a normal bodybuilding, up, down, up, down. We don't do that that much in our real life. So a functional movement training will imitate movements that you do in your normal life so that you can avoid injury in oh, your daily activities. Yeah. Yes, right? It does sound nice Yeah. and important. And of course, the muscle strength is very, very important for a couple of things that I want to say about that. First of, of course, my topic dear to my heart at all times is metabolism. And the more muscle we have, the better our metabolism. And we want to think about metabolism, not just in terms of weight loss or weight management, but all of the cell energy that our body produces mm -hmm. is actually improved when we have more muscle mass. Mm. All right. So this helps as well from a health in general standpoint and particularly in terms of balance. So it, we know it's true that if you don't use a muscle, it will tend to shrink at maybe even to the point of atrophy. Yes. Um, and of course, as we get older, we're doing less things. And so we're using maybe. fewer muscles and we're probably using the same muscles all the time as opposed to all our muscles um, exactly yes that's why we want to do more of the functional kind of movements mm -hmm. rather than just a regular repetitive workout where you're just using the dumbbells or or something that is very repetitive and isn't a movement similar to something that you're going to do in your everyday life that's exactly right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, I i'm familiar with the functional um aspect of of the exercise I, I, i've been through it and it's really really helpful excellent the other part i wanted to say about moving the large muscle groups is that that actually helps the brain so when you when you gentlemen think about movement you probably think about okay my brain i'm now going to do uh, arm curls and I'm going to just use the weights in front of me. So your brain is sending the instructions out to your arms and you're going to do that movement, right? That's how we normally think about moving our muscles is what our brain tells our muscles to do. The fascinating part is that the good, the benefits of that go the other way also. The muscles moving gives good feedback to the brain and it improves the brain, let's say, blood flow and the brain neurological connections. 
Mm. Okay, so you're laying down good track. When you're moving your large muscle groups, you're doing these kinds of exercises that are not only helping build strong muscle, but also giving that feedback to your brain. And that helps the brain. And we want our brains to stay sharp as well as our bodies in good health for as long as we can. Sure, mm. sure. So uh, uh, if you could, uh, because there's a lot of materials that we covered today, uh, but that balance and, and uh, well then, it's probably inevitable that we're gonna lose some sense of balance no matter how fit we are. So perhaps we can go over those uh, a few, uh, the, the few things that people can be aware of and do in order to maintain as good a sense of balance as possible so they can live a more productive and uh, safer uh, life as uh, we all approach 100. Absolutely. Really to what you were saying is that when we increase strength, when we increase, we keep our flexibility in good shape, and we work on balance, when we do all of those, what that does is it increases our coordination. The, uh, I'll leave, I'll, I'll, I think that's a good point for us to, to leave everybody with, which is when everything is more coordinated, that's what we were talking about with the muscles sending the message to the brain. So it's not inevitable that that sense of balance will go away. We can use it and develop it and more coordination means less chance of falling down and getting injured mm. that's a uh, hopeful message yeah and something that yes. uh, we should all pay attention to and uh, 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 I, I think uh, we, we do have uh, 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 our uh, sweet and simple uh, uh, yes. short and sweet short and sweet and, <laughs> and simple straightforward uh, a coach uh, maybe we uh, we will ask her to come up with a series of balance routines that our uh, uh, audience it. can can pay attention to right. and work with. Well, if if you if you watch Donna Lynn Polito's videos on celebrating Act Two every Monday, um, you will notice that a lot of her because she she's very good. She explains why she's doing an exercise and which muscles it will help. Mm. Yes, and uh, a lot of them, quite frankly, have to do, I'll say, inadvertently. In other words, where you're building this set of muscles, but it also works to help your balance or your strength or your. And she so she covers some of that, but not on. A, maybe we'll have her do a regular, um, a set that love would it. be uh, just for balance. That love would be it. Great. I love it. My message as a doctor is that falling down is not a normal part of getting older. Mm. And by all means, all the material that you present and a lot of information that's out there that people can do to be stronger and more in balance and be more coordinated and not fall down. I always tell my parents that's their number one instruction. Don't fall down. Whatever else you do, don't fall down. <laughs> well, thank you, Dr. Liz. And, uh, uh, right to to our entire audience, uh, you now know that you no longer have permission to fall down. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.